if they manage to get the first one down. And later on as well, I mean, with the Nidalee in there, as you see, that opportunity of having the jungler on the top side going for Dragon and will take it. Instantly replying here from Lolpo to see two members in the top lane. That's Dragon for them. And also, ooh, we're going to Hoodstorm here. Going in. Oh, going to go in for that one. The play coming down onto a low. And Sheep actually falling real low in this one. But the first point coming down for Matt. And Sheep managing to survive as well. They're going towards heaven time. That's going to be a oh, lot of damage. Nice. And not coming in, but not the damage. Hoodstorm is going under the tower. He's managed to kill off Sheep, but now he's a little bit low. Jax this is here. dangerous. Jax is going to come across. Heaven time is low. And we see Hudstomp is in no man's land right now. Where is he going to go? He's going to try and execute himself. Rook's getting in there close, but I think Hudstomp oh. got that one. Nice. Also see that Golden Glue's turret is being pressured by Lord Santorin going to come across. We do have Heaven Time moving in as well. That could actually disrupt them here. Santorin going very low. There is Shivana from the side and Golden nice Glue play. kicked away. Rook, meanwhile, jumping in. We'll get a kill back. And that is a decent one for one coming in. Ghost will be happy with that one again. A kill for Jack, always a good thing. Meanwhile, the hook banding on towards low in the bottom lane. Not going to get away from that one. Sheep able to pick up the kill, and they don't have the uh, the damage to finish off Mash either. But we do see the burst and the power here. Oh, Rock's actually going for Hunter. Backing away, don't really want to tell. Low's actually trying to get rid of that pink ward. Suddenly yeah, realizes I am a little bit of trouble from this one. The hook band already was shielded up, but he's not going to be able to escape from this one in complete no man's land. Mash is going to get that. That one. That's the second kill of the game. Coming around the bottom side with Mash. Actually, Dragon already pretty low Tell on this coming. one. We are going to see the TP in the back side. The bomb coming through from Zig Santorin. Going low, but will get around to the side. Mash in the meantime, completely out of position. They will get the kill back on towards heaven time. Hotstorm also following low here. Will flash away. Oh, Hots are up in their face. And Hots are going to get the kill on Turux with the help of Lord. And they're not following back from this one. Sheep also going to be pressured. There's a double kill coming in. More spears actually landing from Lord and well Lopro gonna be happy with this one. Fleet is split up and if we get a replay of this one we need to notice how low is we see the blue of actually has just come up haunts already there the rest of Lopro actually moving in from this one and coast Starting to back away somewhat. There's a spear going in. Rook's actually going to go aggressive. Managing to get the stun off onto two of them. Lord going low, but he gets himself a big heal. And now Rook's falling low. Mash is going to go down. Haunts are actually on a rampage from that one. And they're going to keep chasing here. Santorine low. Golden glue down to half HP as the Hulk will land onto Haunts. He's too tanky already, though, for them to take him down. It's very much a real option for Law Pros. We are going to see Hudstop here throwing out all his damage on towards Mash. And actually, his ulti going to come out, but he's locked up and trying for that one on one. And suddenly, it became a three on one for Joining in and moving down at least towards the Dragon. Oh, Mash actually dodging into the spear there. One more will probably kill him. He's oh, a man. He's going to land. That's and Dragon. That makes it a lot easier. The Dragon coming afterwards. See that ult's taken down. And we Baron down to less than half. Walpro actually coming away from this one. They're going to go straight up to Sheep. Get that kill as well. Finally, Rooks is going to TP in. But look at this. Low being segregated from the rest of the team. He will go down. And that will be a one for one. Both supports dying. Question now is can Rooks actually escape from this one? I don't think that Walpro necessarily going to chase. Towards the river, but not exactly on the Baron yet. Not really in a position to be it's challenging for Baron. this one. They have to go a little bit quicker. I think he's gone too fast here. Lopro gonna take the Baron down. Pushing it down long before here. Hunter going aggressive. He's going aggressive on this one. The stun is gonna come out. Actually missing Hunter there. Tries the flash onto Rooks. He's gonna need oh, one more hit. He's gonna be able to pick that one up. He's now dominating. A Ziggs will throw the ulti in there. They may, will they tank this one up? A hook from Sheep. It's gonna go down though. And Lopro just showing how dominant they are here, how far ahead they are as well. Also, finally taking a lot of damage that will force him to back away. We'll survive from that one though. Still need to be careful here. Heaven Time taking a lot of damage. Oh, Sheep actually following through on this one. That actually might be the death of him as well. Trying to get in there. They do get Heaven Time. Low going to fall as well. Meanwhile, Lord's going to get locked up there by the Cocoon. Have they got the damage to finish off? Yes, they do. It's Golden Glue that gets that one. And a nice little fight for Coast, but they lose a lot of the map for it. Should be able to pick it up now, fairly easily. And Lopro want this inhibitor right now. A lot of damage back from Coast, and always have to factor in 
That's it, but here comes Haunter. So there we go. Sheep are going to go deep on this one. Throws down the box, but may end up going down from it. It's actually Golden Glue that will pick up the kill there. Onto Heaven Time. Haunter right in the middle of the team. Doing good damage. He's surely going to fall. Four. It's a double kill actually coming in. Mass also getting one there at the end. No, it's a triple kill in the end actually for Golden Glue. And that four men down. Nidalee the only one to survive. Able to pounce away, men. There's a ward though inside there. Hit here of Baron, there's no ping actually, the ping is outside from Lord Pro, so they won't be able to spot the ward inside the Baron pit, therefore Coast moving up here to stop them. Oh, nice by Oh, Spartan. Cocoon coming in there, Lord is going to go down from this one, it's actually Rooks that picks up that kill, Santorin going low as well, but Hansa trying to take out the AD carry, he's fighting one versus four here, and he's going to be sacrificed in the end, actually flashed away, <laughs> but there is a follow through. From Cheat, can they actually lock up though? Mash is the one chasing in from it. Gonna be getting some health back there. Thanks to that Bloodthirster. Hook goes wide. Nice. Flashed yeah. away from the binding. And low. Whilst he's gonna be able to keep alive for a little bit, he won't actually survive. Heaven time on the other side of the map as well. Golden Glue is chasing him around. Will take the satchel charge over the top. Trying to stop him here execute. from executing in. Will he get it? Yes, he will. Nicely done from Heaven Time, but in the end, team fight again. Going to coast, and this time they get Baron. We have hit the late game point here, and then move on towards the next thing. They're still be so close to the minions to actually clear them. It's just very hard for Lobo to stop Coast from taking down these towers. Hunter, though, he will still want to fight. Yeah. May actually do a good job with this one. Rux is like, mm, not really sure if I can actually fight him. We'll try and dive away. Hunter gonna ulti in there, and Rux just flashing back. It's here, Coast just waiting at the back. There's the hook going in, a little bit too slow. Three, five, they can't fight. There we see once again Onsa actually getting a little bit caught out here, but as you said before, full item Shivana, not when we get towards those team fights. You have to feel a lot oh. not to hit some damage here as Rook's going very, very deep, pretty much on his own from this one. Gonna lose half of his life, but they're gonna go deep onto him, going very, very low. Hoodstop moving into the front as well. Onsa now very low as well. He has to back away from things as the spears come through and sheep. Almost taken down. I think Lord will be able to get this oh, one. Yes, yeah. he will. Just about finishes off. And that's as as well. Couldn't even join in with him. He just went and took so much damage. And then Lopo just managed to respawn back. Keep getting multiple targets low. Pick up one kill. And now the Baron. So the field going over towards Lopro. Definitely got the damage to finish. Tinatory can't even be defended by Ghost. The bomb coming in from Golden Blue to try and do in him of the game coming down. We've got super minions as well. So that one. I like the idea from Rox here as a speed lands onto Sheep. Rox actually making sure that that top lane is kept as far away from the base as possible. They've landed the binding on towards Sheep. Rox actually diving in there and Haunter going decently low from this one. Morgana oh, but not really giving them too much. Hoodstop's going to be caught out. Finished off as well by Rox and there's a couple more low HP players as Rox flashes in. Gets the counter strike across. Can he get himself anymore? Heaven time is going to die. And that is a double kill for Rox. Disaster for them. End up losing I think it was three men in that fight. So. We'll see if they can hold on. There's the big spear. Mash actually going very low. Having to use so many heals. Now they're going in towards Golden Glue. He's going to get knocked out. Uses Azonias. But as it comes back up, finished off there. Rook's actually picking up a kill. And they're going to keep pushing through. Golden Glue didn't actually die. And now they're going on towards Glow. He gets hooked in from that one. Flashes away. Can Coast keep pushing? Rook's trying to dive in there. Didn't quite have the range. They get the one. Uh, sorry, the oh, two kills. Spear. And that's going to keep them in this one and keep them holding onto that tower. And as you just pointed out, not going to let them go with this one. But look how fast that Baron's actually going down there. Already at less than half HP. Heaven and time is going to have to be a hero for this one. But he gets hooked in. Nope. The Baron goes over it's to the coast with a dive in there from Haunter as well. Mash going low. He will bark three away from the side. But look at the Savage Arrow 6. Heaven time goes down. Low going to get locked up. They should and finish get. up. Haunter now may even go down as well. They don't really need to care about him. But they're going to finish him off. Wow. Golden Glue gets that one. And it's now all on one. Five men still alive for Coast with the Baron. They're going to pick towards the Nexus. Turret's going to go down. Nexus wow. football as well. Mash actually going for the kill here right at the end. Not going to get it. The Nexus goes down. And Coast pick up game number one after weathering the storm for what felt like 